Even birds and airplanes use similar principles, although for entirely different purposes. Inform the secret behind ground effect in Formula One. Why is it making a comeback? Starting in the 2022 season, Formula One reintroduced ground effect technology into car designs. This regulation brought major changes, especially in how cars handle on the track. For teams like Red Bull, which managed to maximize this new rule, dominating the race became much easier. However, teams still struggling with the technology face significant challenges. Interestingly, ground effect is not a new innovation. In fact, this technique was banned in the 1980s. The FIA made this decision because the high cornering speeds were considered too dangerous. If the ground effect was disrupted, cars could lose downforce suddenly, which posed a serious risk of fatal crashes. This ban came into effect during the 1983 season. Ground effect is an aerodynamic phenomenon that increases downward force when a car is close to the ground. This concept isn't exclusive to Formula One. Even birds and airplanes use similar principles, although for entirely different purposes. In Formula One history, ground effect was first introduced in the late 1970s with the Lotus 79, designed by the visionary Colin Chapman. This car revolutionized the competition in F1, leading Mario Andretti to major victories during that season. But this technology isn't just found in the ground effect itself. Components like the front wing use similar principles to generate downforce. The rear wing works the same way, helping cars stay stable at high speeds. Ground effect works by manipulating airflow around the car. According to Bernoulli's principle, Faster moving air creates lower pressure. When the air pressure below the car is lower than the pressure above, the car is pushed down, generating strong downforce. However, large wings that produce downforce also create aerodynamic drag, which slows the car down. This drag is one of the biggest challenges in modern Formula One car design. Since ground effect was reintroduced in 2022, the issue of dirty air has gained attention Dirty air refers to the turbulence caused by aerodynamic components like the front wing, rear wing, and even tires. This turbulence makes it difficult for cars to follow each other closely, especially in corners. The FIA decided to reintroduce ground effect technology because Formula One races in recent years were considered less exciting. Larger cars with complex wing designs produced too much dirty air, making track battles more challenging. With modern technology, ground effect is now designed to be safer and more efficient. The mechanical skirts used in the past are no longer in play. Instead, teams now use advanced aerodynamic designs to naturally create air tunnels under the car. The result? Formula One has become more thrilling. While Red Bull has dominated in the past two seasons, other teams are now starting to harness this technology more effectively. Cars are faster in corners, overtaking has increased, and races feel much more competitive. How do you feel about the ground effect regulations? Do you think this is the right step to make Formula One more exciting? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next race.